And here we go with another Habit Trail Habitat for Hamsters. This time it's the Ovo Studio. The Ovo Studio is much like the Habit Trail Ovo Dwarf Hamster setup, but the tubes are larger and we have some more accessories here for larger hamsters. These are all the components as they come out of the box. Make sure that everything is not broken and in good shape because if it is broken, you want to send it right back. These are all the connectors. There's the exercise wheel to the right right there. And if you get anything extra for your setup, I recommend you get more elbows and 180s and connectors so that you can do other things with it. There's this Discover the New World of Habitrail Ovo. They list all of their components and accessories in it. This is the Habitrail Ovo Studio Special Edition. I don't know what's special about this edition. It's just the way it came. Bought it on Amazon and we're going to put it together starting with the basin and just like the others that have this round shape. We start with these two receiving collars on the sides, a little fussy, line them up with little slats there and clip them in place. And then you're going to be connecting the top opening system to that. So it's pretty much the same if you've seen my other videos. Simple, straightforward. We're just gonna follow the instructions here. Here is again, the support for the exercise wheel, which is also the hideaway for your hamster. And on top is the food dish. Listen to the squeaky sound. You want to fix that the way I've explained in other videos, which is to put uh, olive oil on this axle, put it back together, and you're going to hear the difference. Excellent. Plus, it moves easier for your smaller hamster. We're going to be having dwarf hamsters when we get this entire system finally put together. That's how it clips in. Now, you can also twist that 180 degrees or 90 degrees there so that it locks in better, but I just push it straight down and it seems fine. This exercise wheel is a little over seven inches in diameter. So now let's just clip in the top here and then we rotate these silver rings on the side and that locks it down in place. Very easy to remove again if you need to clean or get to your system for one reason or another. Little hideaway also is nice and dark. This is a pod that connects up on the top and it has this cardboard insert in it that they call a maze. I think your hamster, your mouse, or your gerbil is going to chew that up pretty darn fast. I'm not going to put any bedding up in this. We're going to put the bedding in the basin down below and then let the uh, pet take it up there on its own. Here's the drinking system. This water bottle has an easy stainless steel cover that you pull off, fill the bottle, easy to clean, easy to snap back together. Once this is installed in your system, it is easy to pull the water bottle out and service it without having to open it. Notice all the drips here. You want to make sure and let it drip out before putting it back onto your tank system for your pet. You don't want them walking through the water. And this shows some different configurations that are included in the instructions, so you're not locked into one setup. Again, I recommend you buy extra tubes and connectors and tees and elbows so that you can start to uh, run these things off in other configurations. Although each time you change your system around, you will cause a little bit of stress to your pet, so think that over. These are the connectors that go on either side. The little red things are called windows and they just close off dead ends. But these are the areas that you can also use to connect other habitats together. The connection rings are straightforward. They lock securely, very easy to use. And then we just put all the pieces together, put the windows on the sides, which also help hold these pieces together. And then uh, just continue to connect the rest of the tubes. And here's the whole thing set up, ready to go. If you're looking at square inch wise, I would say that the studio, which is the same as the dwarf because it is round, it's roughly 132 square inches. Most people are gonna say that's not enough for your hamster, so you're gonna wanna connect this to other systems. And here's the drinker on the end. Note the little red window there that you can pull off to wipe any drips off at the bottom if it tends to leak a little. Here's the exercise wheel, it takes up a lot of space in here. You may want to opt to get the external exercise wheels so that it won't take up your prime real estate inside the habitat. But this is it. Pretty simple look at this thing. It's a good size. I think it's gonna be a nice place for your hamster, your gerbil, or your mouse, but you're also probably gonna to wanna to connect it to something like this Habitrail crystal cage, which expands the floor space and gives your pets more space. Also with a crystal cage, note that they use a different water bottle. Thanks for watching. I hope you get some nice cages for your pets.